Hello, this is Dr. Irvin Sani, and I'd like to speak to you about diabetes, specifically in reference to having your procedure. If you're a diabetic, you already probably know quite a bit about diabetes. There's a couple of basic types of diabetes, type 1 and type 2. Type 1 is when your body is unable to produce insulin and basically regulate your blood sugar, and oftentimes this type of diabetes uh, starts at an early age. The more common type of diabetes is type 2 diabetes, and this is from insulin resistance, oftentimes from people becoming overweight and their body simply becoming resistant to a normal level or even an elevated level of insul insulin in their body. Now, the, the issue is that when we inject you, especially with a steroid medication, whether that's for an epidural steroid injection, a facet injection, or even an intraarticular injection of a knee or a shoulder, or any time we're injecting steroids into your body, this can affect your blood sugar adversely. Now, this certainly isn't going to affect your blood sugar in the same way that injecting steroids either into a vein, IV, or even intramuscular. These are a systemic method of injecting steroids. And then, of course, you can also take steroids by mouth. Again, that's systemic. The intention is for the steroid to go throughout your entire body, into your bloodstream, and be distributed throughout your body. When we do steroid injections, we do not intend for our medication to be distributed throughout your body. We intend, in most cases, for it to be delivered to a specific location, a facet, the epidural space, the, the uh, space inside your knee, the subacromial space inside your shoulder. But ultimately, some of this steroid can bleed out and can end up in your bloodstream. That can cause your blood sugar to spike. So it's important, especially if you're a brittle diabetic or, one, uh, or a person who has great difficulty controlling your diabetes tightly, that you're aware that injecting steroids, even though it's a local injection or intended to be a local injection, can affect your blood sugar. You're going to want to monitor your blood sugar much more aggressively. If you check your blood sugar once a day, you might want to check your blood sugar more often, especially if you get an elevated reading. And if you get an extremely elevated reading, it would be important for you to either contact our office, your primary care doctor, or even go to the emergency room. You can expect to have difficulty controlling your blood sugar for about 24 to 48 hours. And that's usually in someone who has extremely uh, severe diabetes that's difficult to control. Anything beyond 48 hours is probably not a result of the steroid. If you have any questions about this, please contact our office.